Hi Taurus, welcome to your week ahead reading for May 17th through May 23rd. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this is about you and another person, this could resonate with yours or their moon rising or Venus sign also. All right, Taurus. Week ahead for Taurus. Week ahead for Taurus. Sun card could be Leo, not too shabby. Chariot, <laughs> why not? <laughs> uh, that could be Cancerian. Knight of Wands, okay, lots of optimism and energy here. Queen of Swords could be Libra, this could be Leo right here. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, holy cow. Four of Swords. <laughs> So it's like busy, yay, okay, and a good night. <laughs> okay, so this is you being well on your way. From what though, or to what is the question? Hmm. Okay. So what, it, okay, all right. Okay, Taurus. It's, there's, um, you're on like a new, you're, something's changed. You're, you're on a different path. You're like, things have, things have changed and you've changed some things. All right. So what's this Knight of Wands about? What's Knight of Wands about? Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm, there's that change. Okay. Whoopsie. It says Ten of Wands for Taurus. It says Ten of Wands. This, okay. The sun. <laughs> so is, is it that you're busy? Um, there's been an upswing now and it feels, it feels solo. It, it doesn't mean that you're single, but it feels like your focus is on your forward trajectory and movement and it feels work related. Uh, it feels like for the Tauruses I'm reading for that romance or a romance romantic situation might be on the back burner or it's not really solidified. It, you might be just casually dating or you're dating, but th across the board, a lot of these readings have been about work picking back up. So I think we're going to see a reopening this week, like more so than we have, or because it still feels kind of shut down. Like they say, oh, there's a reopening, but it still feels like the powers that be are still wanting to do like this. And it feels like people are doing things anyway. Counties are doing things anyway, you know, parishes or, or things are, or everybody's opening back up anyway, cautiously and safely, but they're, people are getting tired of, um, you know, good or bad or whatever it is. It's just, there's, there's more opening up going on now, whether it's or allowed or not, I guess. And I don't mean to get into, you know, that too much, obviously, but this feels like that. And the other readings felt like that. There's brighter days ahead. Things are picking back up. You're busy, but you're glad for it. And it's all good because there's a change in the, the stagnation of things. What's this? And there we have this too. Look at this. What's this uh, chariot about for Taurus? Queen of Swords. Can be Libra. Wow. So this is you firmly in command of your trajectory right now. It doesn't mean that you're single. You know, it just means that you're really focused on yourself right now and, and what your work is and what you want to do. And it, you're, that's where your focus is. You're romantic. You're not prioritizing your, it could be because it's stable and it's not a concern or a worry. Things are going fine. Um, or it could be that you're dating and you're not really attached to anybody and work has picked back up and you're like, well, if I was in a serious relationship, I couldn't get the time I wanted to anyway. So what's this queen of swords about for Taurus? There's Taurus, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. What's this four of swords? Whoopsie. Knight 
Oh, nine of cups. Hmm. What's his four of swords? Ace of cups. Well, okay then. So this is a week well lived. This is a good productive week. You're tired. But this is, look at this. I mean, the sun card, ten of cups, ace of cups. This is you finding your footing again. Not that you ever lost it. You're just really liking this week a lot better than last week. Because <laughs> things are finally able to, things have loosened up this week. And you're able to do more things. Um, the, it feels like self-directed things. It feels like things that you wanted to do last week, but you couldn't. And now you can. Because this week feels very fulfilling for you. So, okay. What's his Ten of Cups for Taurus? Ten of Cups. Okay, so the Seven of Cups. Okay, so this is, again, things finally opening up and you being able to plan and strategize and start moving forward with what you've wanted. You've been, it's almost like you had everything ready to go or thought out, but you could only plan so far because you had to wait for this to come through or that to open up or whatever, and now you're able to do that. You're able to um, finally move forward with the plans that you've been making. And it looks like it's a very productive week for you, um, quite busy. And it it might be about you having to find the time for the calm or find the time to kind of practice a little bit of self-care because it is going to be a busy week because you're going to want to take advantage of things opening back up or it being the right time for something. Um, romance isn't really featured here. That could be because no, you don't have anybody serious in your life or because um, you're just casually dating. You know, you're not really attached or involved. So, and it just feels like you're taking a full advantage of this change in momentum or this upswing and things being more available to you and at your disposal and wanting to um, figure out how to allocate things, figure out what to work on first, figure out Figure out. All right, what's this? You're not in deficit with um, work or money. You're not, there's not that. It's, this is all about energy output. For the Tauruses I'm reading for, your money situation is fine. Um, it doesn't take a hit. There's no upsurge, it just is. So it's, there's no change, I should say. Um, you're just busy. So is this a side project then? Because there's not much return on your effort here. There's no hit, there's no deficit, but you're a lot busier than you were the last couple of weeks and yet you're earning the same amount of money. So is this a side project or are you just able to finally get that shopping done or what, I mean. Five of Wands, busy, busy, busy. Five of Wands. So this is you finding a way to kind of manage all of the busyness this week and still kind of keep things stable and calm, but you're happy for the busyness. You're happy for the, the work. You're happy for the activity. You're happy for this change in direction because this is different from the past couple of weeks. You're okay with it. It's busy and it's a lot of, you know, um, having to figure this out or what are we going to do about this, but you're okay with that. This jumped. Battle of the Blues, take steps towards positive change. Okay, so it could have been that these last couple weeks were difficult just because there wasn't a lot going on and we were all sequestered and it was like, oh, God. well, things are starting to lift now and you're really liking this forward momentum. That was forward, Taurus. I'll make sure you see I'm shuffling here. I had some people have concerns about, we can't see you shuffling. Well, I know that's because I'm halfway up on the table when I do. That's what New, new beginnings. Begin your new life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I claim this reading. Yes, look at it. There it is. Oh, I was going to say the sun card twice. Where is it? There it is. New beginnings. This forward momentum, this all of a sudden, this upsurge. It's like this is the beginning week. And it's not, gosh, I can't remember. I don't know who it was. Another reading was just like this, where it felt like this wasn't just about this week. This is about the groundwork for a period, a window of time where it's going to be like this. Lots of energy, lots of momentum, um, lots of busyness. You enjoy the work, think you're in the flow, um, not really concerned about too much. You're just liking being busy and managing and being able to make decisions again. And da -da 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 -da. 
So th this is work related. Romance really isn't featuring here, and but you're happier. I mean, not happier for. This is a good week for you, productive wise. A week well lived. You're happy. Practicing self care. Might even be taking a break from romance. Or this is finding. Um, this is you being happy with you and just kind of being able to have your mind at rest or at ease again because of a well lived, well, a productive, well lived week. Ace of Wands, and then I'm leaving this like this. Four of Cups on its side. Because this is, it was like this where there was that restless energy. It's like, oh gosh, what, huh? this could have been very well the Battle of the Blues right here, and now it's starting to take a turn again. It's turning like this to where you're conscious of your choices, you're in the flow, you're thinking about, you've got time to think now, your thinking is productive. It's not just like, oh God. So, okay, but I'm leaving it like that because there's the upswing now, the wheel, the things have changed now, you're on an up cycle. And things are, the, there's momentum now and you're deciding what to do with that. Good for you. You're not down in the dumps anymore. It's, it's new though, it's, this is the change happening. I like it. Okay, you have yourself a good week, Taurus. I hope to see you in the next reading. And much love and support to you. Thank you for stopping by. If you are an essential worker or a first responder, thank you for your service. Um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. You have yourself a good week. Take care.